I'd bother saying some clever things right now, but all you really want to hear is bearing, 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 bearing. Okay, here we go. Y'all ready? I haven't had a lot of time this week to investigate some of the news stories I wanted to talk about, so I'm just going to get right to the flags. So, please stop flagging each other. That's the reason why I make this video, and I don't endorse anybody I'm about to talk about, unless I explicitly say so. Updates this week. AKA Daniel47 beat his copyright strike from EA. And Suit Yourself had some claims re removed, and he tweeted about it. Links in the description box for all of these things that I'm talking about. And the special story I want to talk about this week, as far as flagging goes, is Thin or Thin, now Thin or Thin 2, because her channel was flagged down. The reason why it was flagged down is because she talks about her struggles with anorexia. Now... Why did anorexia become the theme of the week? Well, it's that whole Eugenia Cooney thing that uh, Onision is popularizing right now, but a lot of other people have been talking about it. But, uh, yeah, there's kind of a witch hunt for people talking about this real psychological disorder. And Thin or Thin, or now Thin or Thin 2, uh, she isn't as rail thin as Eugenia Cooney, but she does talk about actively having slips where she goes back into anorexia, and she vlogs about her weight. She's nowhere near as thin as Eugenia, but just that she talks about her day-to-day -day struggles makes some people think that she might be encouraging it. So she got her channel flagged down, and I'm not, I'm not of the camp that thinks that that's the right thing to do in this case. I think that she's talking about her struggles in a way that people could help her, and she's doing it openly and honestly, whereas Eugenia Cooney uh, does not appear to be. So, uh, you know, the, the fallout from Eugenia Cooney's channel is affecting other people's channels now. So, um, in the gaming community this week, we had... Mr. Nick 2, Sky2065, Daily McAltz, Jedi Rock, Sergeant Sizzles, Metatron, Jaden Deerker, and all of those were flagged, and Go Gamer was terminated. In the Great Debate community this week, we had the Drunken Peasants have two strikes from Tommy Sotomayor now. Uh, Raging Bob was flagged for a bit a video about Zoe Berger. End Time was flagged, and Exposurer, Exposurer was given a second copyright strike. In the Rad FMRA community, we had Flag of the Week, which was Bearing. And also, uh, Edgy Sphinx was kind of a footnote in all of those videos about Bearing. Um, kind of his uh, Robin to his Batman in this but uh, both of them disappear disappeared overnight, pretty much. And uh, I don't have any updates about Edgy Sphinx. What was interesting about uh, Bering's channel going down is... I'll, I'll give you a bunch of links of, of people talking about it, but for a second there, it came back up. I saw it because of Liz Reptile's video, but there are other people who noticed that his channel came back up and went back down again. So... Um, there's that. Uh, Boy and Lace was also flagged. Uh, Color Girl 101010. Beyond the Curves, Nakia Danielle. Uh, Chris Raygun got two copyright claims, and he successfully fought off one of those. Kazoom got a claim from Viacom, and so did Sargon of Akkad. And, uh... That was for a Daily Show clip with Tommy Lehrer or something. 
and uh, yeah, there was it was a big bit of news last week, and then Viacom went flag happy. In the racial commentary community, we have a channel that's actually called "It's More Than Hate for Tommy Sotomayor," and the only letter that's capitalized in that is the H in hate. Um, somebody who also has had problems with Tommy. Uh, nobody got flagged in the YouTube wrestling community, and in the unaffiliated category, we've got Tipok, Nick Miller, John Thralo, who, um, I'm surprised that his cover of Iron Man got flagged, uh, and he thinks it's because they got close to the original in sound. Um, Daniel, uh, Kyuber, 9000, Amanda the Jedi and Isaiah Pepper, they were all flagged. Um, on the wrong side of YouTube uh, this week, we've got Juz Diva Sexy and her twerking booty. And it twerks. She works that twerk. Uh, Flag Watch this week, we've got uh, Shitlords with borrowed avatars need to look out and fart videos. And I'll give you a link to an example of that. Random shout-outs below all of that. Some of those very interesting interesting uh, rabbit holes to go down. Um, sorry this, this edition is a little short, um, and I didn't put a lot of effort into it. I'm a little uh, taxed after putting a lot of effort into a video that didn't even make 100 views, hasn't even made half that uh, as of this upload, and I spent hours on it. And I'm like, err. The, the algorithm is changing, like uh, Chris Raygun pointed out, and you can't tell what's going to make views or not. But I really felt like I, I did a good job on that video, the previous video to this one uploaded on the channel. And, uh, yeah, um, it's late, and I don't have the energy for something that's not going to pay off. So um, I'll come back next week after working on my motivation. See you then. Do you have a flag?